Yay Networks. 13 has been my lucky number for a while. Like, it's always a sign of good things to come for me. This is 13, a Taylor Swift fan podcast. Breaking down every song, every Easter egg, every era, and every theory. Hosted by the biggest Swifties. Nick Adams, Anna Casiejos, Amy Nichols, and Lacey G. Welcome to 13, a Taylor Swift fan podcast. I'm Lacey G. I'm Anna. Amy. And we're here today in a different sense than what we normally would be and um, how we would like to be. But we have to talk about what's going on. Um, first off, Anna, people are having a hard time getting a hold of us, right? Yes. Yes. Um, Something that I've always talked about that I love the most about this podcast is that we have been able to create a community of Swifties around the the world, right? Mm -hmm. And it's crazy because we just talk into these microphones about our love for Taylor Swift and it somehow connects us to people just on the other side of the world. And it's the most incredible, incredible thing. Um, Aside from the podcast, like quite literally us talking and you listening, our main method of contact with our listeners is Instagram. Um, and for the past few days, I have felt so helpless because we haven't been able to communicate with our listeners on social media because our Instagram got taken down for an unknown reason. I have been (laughs) fighting tooth and nail trying to get this account back. Um, if you followed us on Instagram and you've noticed that we haven't been posting, I mean, the the account is gone, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Or if you went to the site and it's not there. Yeah. If you tried to search for us, if you tried to send us a message, like the, the, the page is gone and it's really unfortunate when it comes to this kind of thing because Meta, Instagram is owned by Meta, which owns Facebook. And it's very hard to like talk to someone to like help essentially. But basically what happened was a few days ago, we just woke up to an email that said, hey, your account's been taken down. That's it. Um, No follow up, no reason why, nothing to do. I was able to submit an appeal, but then it basically was just like, thanks, we'll let you know. And so I kind of gave it a few days um, to see if it would come back. I've tried so many things. I've tried reaching out to people to try to help us get it back. Um, But I have just been unlucky. (laughs) I have been unsuccessful in getting our account back. So we have created a new account for the podcast on Instagram. Um, It's similar to our old handle. It's at the 13 TS podcast. It matches our X, our our Twitter. So it's at the 13 TS podcast. In the description, it says it's a backup for our other account. Um, This account is following the four of us. The four of us are following this account back just in case there's other random ones that show up, whatever. Um, it just, it, it's, yeah, at the 13 TS podcast. Um, I, on my personal Instagram, Anna Zabo 13 did a collab post with this account just so you can, like, verify that this is our actual backup account. Right. Um, if our other one does come back up, we'll obviously, great. we'll obviously let you know, and that would be so, so, so great because, We've worked really, really hard to build that um, account over the last, <laughs> over the years. We've worked really hard to build that account. And I, I think, honestly, what hurts the most is that it was our main point of contact with our listeners. And so not being able to communicate the last few days has been really difficult. So, yeah, just to let you guys know, we do have a new Instagram account. It's at the 13 ts podcast. Um, if you want to look us up, uh, there we are. If you need to contact us for any reason, if you wanted to just chat, if you needed someone to talk to because of the things that are going on right now, um, that is the point of contact for us. We're also on TikTok and also on X, but their DM systems are kind of wonky too. Like I just have always preferred communicating with our listeners over Instagram. Um, so if you guys need anything, that's our new that's our new account. And that is what truly sucks about this because there's been – a lot of stuff going on, a lot of Swifties coming together right now. So to be out of the loop on this especially just feels awful on a mm-hmm. personal level. Um, why the hell am I dressed in all sparkly today? I'm wearing this for my Swifties who packed all their sparkle gear mm-hmm. going out to Vienna and Aww. now don't have the concert to go to because of just the fucked up shit that's been going on. Um, Taylor decided to cancel the concerts in Vienna due to threats. These were threats that were investigated, definitely happening. Um, 
in order to make the right call for safety for other people, she decided have to cancel the concert. So now there's a lot of Swifties in Vienna, um, and they went ahead and went. This happened yesterday, concerts today. So, I mean, they were already on the way, or do I cancel? I've seen Swifties there by themselves, who was going to Vienna by themselves, Mm -hmm. but have since reached out, and now groups of Swifties are hanging out Mm -hmm. together. Um, One person who found out the news at the airport, this is kind of the lighten up a little bit. Um, One person who found out the news at the airport was Nikki Glaser. Oh, really? Yeah. And this is her and her friend's reaction to what the F is this? I can't believe this is happening. We're stuck at an airport gate on our way to Vienna on a flight that was late. Oh, planning outfits and singing songs. We had no idea how things could go wrong. Then we get a text from our mom that the shows have been canceled because of threat from a bomb. And we screamed in a Hudson News. What the hell do I do with these goddamn sparkly shoes? I dyed my hair pink for nothing. We're fucked. Yeah, so that was them finding out at the airport what what happened um just as i guess other people were at at the airport and all of a sudden getting these texts and um someone else on tiktok shared a sentiment that we had discussed yesterday one of the first things that i think came to mind for a lot of people whenever they heard the news yesterday was i feel bad for Taylor. I feel bad for Taylor Swift mm-hmm. for even though this isn't her fault, this is the last thing that she would ever want just to be connected to this. We already know how she feels responsible for so many things. Mm-hmm. So for her to be a reason that people would think of it because so many people are gathered to see her, mm-hmm. just devastating. And this is what Johnny J on TikTok had to say about that. I just want y'all to take a moment and put yourself in Taylor Swift's shoes, not for any other reason than to just fully attempt to process what she's going through, y'all. Okay, so kids were killed like less than two weeks, three weeks ago at a Taylor Swift dance party. Her stalker almost made it in her show. Travis Kelsey is being targeted and his security guards with him at all times right now. And then it's confirmed that there was going to be terrorist attacks at her shows in Vienna. So she's canceled them. And I just am taking a moment to really think about Taylor. Cause like that girl is on stage in front of 60,000 plus people every single time she goes out there. And how the fuck are you supposed to go out there and just know that everybody is safe and that nobody's made it in and this and that, like she's going to be moving forward fucked up. It's absolutely heartbreaking. Mm-hmm. Every every single angle is heartbreaking. It's heartbreaking to think about her position. Also, just the the dancers, the crew, the team, the the security, the people that traveled, the Swifties, the Swifties that you know had waited forever. Like every single part of this is absolutely heartbreaking, and it just makes me so. It makes me really upset, and at the same time, it makes me really angry. To, t- to take what should be such a magical, joyful escape from the sick world and then to take that away from people for like, it's just, I'm in fear. Like, I'm just, I'm furious about it. And I'm also so heartbroken about it. And when the, when we got the news yesterday, I actually posted on, on my Instagram, you know, just saying like, if any Swifties needed to like talk to, to, to message me. And so I did talk to a few of our listeners that were there. Um, one of them said that, you know, she'd been waiting over a year for, for this night to happen, had her outfit, tickets, everything, travel. And she said, you know, to be honest, like I'm feeling very conflicted with mixed emotions because you're so upset. Or she said that she was just very upset about it being canceled. But at the same time, she was so thankful that they made the call to cancel it, you know? And so she, like, so she was just kind of saying like, I'm just so confused. It's just so many mixed emotions. And it's like, I... Uh, it just like it hurts me so much, especially since I recently traveled to Dublin for Taylor Swift and the absolute magic of walking around a city full of Swifties. Like I told you all that it felt like I was in Barbie land, 
you know, and just to know that that that's like, I don't, gosh, I don't know. And Taylor has talked about this before, even mm-hmm. before the era store. She talked about this years ago. Yeah. It, it, it sucks. And I'm really mad that we live in a world where this isn't even the first time that this would have happened. You know, like how fucked up is that to be like, this has happened before. Yeah. And when this happened in Manchester at an Ariana Grande concert, after that, Taylor had said, you know, like, there's no way I can't think about that moving forward with my shows and even before that she she's always said that she travels with like a first aid kit like a military grade first aid kit because she just doesn't know that's why her security is so so intense and it's like to and now at the scale that she's at and to think that anybody around her could be in danger like not just like her Travis Kelsey her family her dance like it extends to like all of the fans that way outside of the stadium to see her like it's just I'm just and all the love people that are involved with those people you know like her family who it wouldn't even well they typically go to the concert i think but anyone who loves her is it's just so sad i yeah. it affects so many people and i was thinking about it because at this point at this point where we're when we're recording this episode she hasn't said anything which i don't expect her to or mm-hmm. any like at, right away or anything but at this point she hasn't said anything and so i'm really curious about like, I even thought about it yesterday. I was like, even though these three shows were canceled, you know, she still has so many more on tour. And it's like, how, as a human being, how do you go out back on stage? I mean, it might affect the you rest know? of the tour. Like, I, I can't help but think about it. I wouldn't be surprised if more shows get canceled just mm-hmm. out of precaution. Like, oh, man, this is. And you have tickets to see her in London. How are you? What do you think about, like, the future of the shows, I guess? I I, I don't know. Um, of course, selfishly, I did think that I'm supposed to be or I'm going to be in London next weekend. Um, is that going to affect my show? Is it not? Um, of course, I I want to see the Eras tour again. I want to see the Tortured Poets Department set. If it does get canceled, um, although I'll be disappointed to not see it then, I understand Mm -hmm. because it is so convoluted right now and so messed up and I mean seriously whenever we found this out yesterday it was like oh my god oh my god how awful oh my god oh my god for Taylor Swift Mm -hmm. you know to find out like I didn't even know that Travis Kelsey was targeted or supposedly targeted at a Morgan Wallen concert earlier this week. yeah I had heard that yeah so I mean there's so much going on and just to know that this this is tied together because of Taylor Swift not Mm -hmm. because of Taylor Swift but because she's so popular and so many people are going to be there that makes it a target for others Mm -hmm. that makes and I mean that's just that's that's awful I don't know how I would respond I don't know how I could get it together and go out and do it um i saw austria airlines uh pushing their bev cart yesterday and had i can do it with a broken heart but can you can you really do that with a broken and scared heart in that moment i mean she didn't she doesn't cancel concerts we know that Mm -hmm. she canceled because of uh the fan who died yeah she postponed a night in rio after the girl had heat exhaustion yes um and we've seen her step up and take care of fans in a way that others haven't that in in rio they still had the um roofs closed and they didn't want people listening outside because they didn't buy tickets and in return that made it super hot in there and people are passing out and she's taking her own water and throwing it to people Mm -hmm. and then once they do reopen they had free water and taking care of people. So I mean, I don't I don't know. I don't I don't know how to move forward. I don't know how Taylor Swift can make that call and what call she is going to make. I think we know as Swifties that she's going to do everything that she can in her power to make this happen if if possible. Mm-hmm. If not, then she's going to keep us safe. Yeah, and I'm sure, you know, I'm sure there's also so much more that we don't know, yeah. right? And and there's there's got to be, and I'm sure even even 
I don't even know if ultimately she's the one that makes the call, you know? Right. I'm sure, like, she has people around her that are crisis management, that are security entails, things like that. I read somewhere that it was actually, like, the government in Austria was, like, pushing to cancel. Like, I I don't know. There's there's only so much that we, as the general public, actually know about this situation. But ultimately, I am very, very happy that it, that the fans are okay, that everyone is safe when you start to think about like and you don't even want to think about it you know but that was also I talked to a Swifty yesterday who kind of said that she was she said she was just sitting in her hotel room just basically she was like I cannot stop thinking about the what if she was like I'm very thankful I'm very thankful but how do you how do you think about that you know kind of like knowing that you did like you did escape that path yeah you know because somebody else made the call to cancel yeah so it's Oh, it's devastating and it's so heartbreaking. And if there are any Swifties that are listening that need someone to just, <laughs> if you need a shoulder to cry on, we are here for you. That's yeah. that's the main purpose of this podcast, you know, to have that community. So we are here. You can reach out to us um, in any shape, way, or form that you would like to. But there's only <laughs> there's only so much we can say and so much we can do to comfort, you know, the people that are directly, in, like, affected by this. Yeah. So this is coming from a source, so take this with a grain of salt, but um, according to this source, somebody told The Mirror that Taylor Swift plans to return to Vienna as soon as possible in the future. The source said she's devastated for the fans who have been waiting for years to see her, but the thought of what could have happened if the concerts had been targeted by a terrorist attack is horrifying, and she would never risk the safety of her fans. But she has told her team that she wants to try to return to Vienna as soon as possible in the future. She is very conscious of how disappointed her fr- her fans in Austria are. Which is awful because there are people there who have been waiting for forever. There are people there who have traveled to go see her. Um, so everybody all around is just disappointed and upset by the events that have taken place because they have been waiting for forever. Mm -hmm. Understandable that the decision was made and this is the best call, but still sucks for fans that are there. Um, One of uh, a great fan of the podcast, very UUU check Swifty is there with her husband and they found out right before they left, right before they got on the train from, I imagine from Czech Republic, um, and decided to go ahead and go anyway. She said that um, people are still wearing their concert costumes and have arms full of friendship bracelets passing out. The moment that she got off the train, there were kids there giving away friendship bracelets, trading friendship bracelets. Um, people are coping with their grief by singing together, trading bracelets, hugging, making connections. Um, Policemen are at these points gauging the situation and um, coordinating traffic, trading friendship bracelets as well. There's a, and I can't say this word, but it's it's almost Cornelius. But yeah, yeah. So people are, are on what they're calling Cornelius Street and gathering and singing together. Um, I've also seen other people posting Swifties for Eternity was posting that some people were saying, I came to Vienna alone, and now I'm just hanging out in my hotel room, not feeling like sleeping with dozens of friendship bracelets and no one to exchange them with. And Swifties for Eternity posted that, and then other people reached out, and now they're going to brunch, and they're getting together because they were traveling on their own to go to this concert. And what do you do now? I mean, kind of kind of scared, kind of alone, but it is nice that Swifties are coming together for other people, knowing that everyone's just disappointed, sickened, upset by what's going on. It is an absolute tragedy that we have to grieve the concert, but I'm so thankful that we're not grieving the people. You know what I mean? Just awful, because that's not... That's not what I think about whenever I'm getting ready to go out. That's not no. what I'm thinking about at all. If if someone's going to mess this all up, and that's just a sad, sad, right. unfortunate reality of how life is, that we don't, yeah. we don't think about that kind of stuff. And 
then you have someone at Taylor Swift's magnitude who has to think about that kind of stuff. We don't, we don't think about it because we're not usually involved in that sort of way or thinking that this could be something that happens, but then celebrities at that magnitude have to worry about that. They have to think about the crazies that are stalking them and breaking into their house and targeting them for absolutely no reason other than I know your name and you're successful mm-hmm. and let's, I mean, just, oh, I know. I really, gosh, obviously Taylor Swift is like my favorite person in the world. And I just hope that, I hope she's okay. And I hope that she's surrounded by people that are, you know, giving her any help and space that she needs, whatever it is that she needs, you know, and I do not like fault her at all if she takes the longest break mm-hmm. after all of this. Yeah. Um, if you are in Vienna right now, um, our friend who's there said that multiple places are offering free drinks, coffee, food, entries for museums and cultural establishments whenever you show your ticket. So there are still things to do while you're there, still people to get with and enjoy. Um, like I said, I'm wearing my sparkly dress. I bet I'm I'm wearing this in solidarity, even as far as my shoes, because I'm a hill girly, heel, heel, hill, heel girly. Heel. Um, but I wore my comfy shoes because I would not be wearing heels at a concert. <laughs> so I'm literally dressed for the Eras tour with you. Just I'm I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry that this happened and makes me mad at the world, honestly. It makes me mad at the people who yeah. do bad. Don't, yeah. don't do bad. Yeah. Don't. I did see a really um, sweet post that was of Swifties trading friendship bracelets on that street that you had mentioned, the one that kind of sounds like Cornelia Street. Mm-hmm. And the caption was, you can take away our concert, but you can't take away our girlhood. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm, like, going to cry. That yeah. is so sweet. I know. That is so sweet. It is... It is nice to see Swifties coming together in this moment. That is the one bright takeaway that I I am seeing from this is the connections that people are making, the understanding that there's nothing else that could have been done at this point. Um, it's natural to be disappointed. It's natural to be devastated. That doesn't mean anything against you for being upset that the concert isn't happening. I'm upset that the concert isn't happening. It just really sucks that these are the circumstances and the call that had to be made for everyone's safety. Mm -hmm. And it's so unfortunate. But we're thinking of you Swifties. We're thinking um, of everyone during this time. Um, Feel free to reach out if you need anyone to talk to if you um, are in Vienna and need some friends maybe we can hook you up with some friends Um, we are more limited than normal because our social media situation this week but Mm -hmm. as a backup we did start a new account Um, it's at uh, it's a new account on Instagram it's at the 13 TS podcast Um, yeah I just Our little, you know, blurb is there, and uh, I think there's, like, two posts on it (laughs) right now. But I'm going to try to rebuild it. I'm going to try really hard, uh, you know, to rebuild the account that we we had. If you start to follow it and you start to see a lot of posts from me, well, that's just because I'm trying to rebuild it. (laughs) But don't unfollow me because of that, you know. Um, But, yes, at the 13TS podcast is our new Instagram. We're also on X and on TikTok and now on YouTube. Um, as well, we also have an email, the 13 podcast at Gmail. We have a voicemail. There's a lot of ways to contact us. Instagram isn't the only way. It just was our main way. <laughs> um, but we do have a new account so that we can be in contact with everybody. And hopefully getting our old account back, not really sure what yeah. happened, why. Uh, yeah, pretty frustrating. But uh, hey, if there's any Swifties that happen to work at Meta or know somebody that works at Meta, somebody that can help us, um, recover our old account that that would be really 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 great and we would be so appreciative um that would be awesome but in the meantime and maybe forever who knows uh, at the 13 ts podcast for now and also i got my dress from anna yes i know that's so cute just i wonder if i I probably 
I probably most likely wore that to some sort of Taylor Swift event at some point. Man, yeah. I knew I was missing something. Cause she's like, do you recognize it? I'm like, what is happening? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. That was yeah, that was mine at one point. Yeah. It's cute. We share clothes. Yeah, it's yeah, very, yeah. It's really cute. It's, it's very cute. It we is. have a group of girls that trade clothes. You can just yeah. come take whatever. <laughs> and um, I knew it was kind of risky taking some Anna stuff. Because, we're the same uh, height. But, but, hey, it worked. And um, I... I just thought of it last second. I was like, man, for, for my Swifties, I want to be extra shiny That today. was really cute. That was really, really cute. I, I, I love that you did that. I adore that. You know? Thank you. Thank you um, for giving up the dress, too, because I wouldn't have this without you. <laughs> yeah. You know, at the end of the day, this, this community is absolutely incredible and so loving. And so at its core, you know, we just love each other and forever thankful for it. So thank you guys for listening to this podcast. Thank you for listening, everybody. Be safe. Love you all. Thanks for listening. The 13, a Taylor Swift fan podcast. Subscribe for free and leave a positive review on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or Google Podcasts.